Hi everyone, I'm Louisa and today we're going to be looking at the present simple and in particular verbs in the present simple. But first, let me show you something. What's this insect here called? Yeah, an ant. And what about this one? Ladybird or ladybug. It. So today we're actually going to be reading an article about a man called Dr. Mark Moffat and he loves bugs. But first, have a read of that article and see if you can find the answer to this question. What do the ants and other bugs, what do the ants and other bugs often do to Dr. Okay, find out the answer. Okay, what's the answer? That's right, they often bite him. Bite. Now what's the full sentence? Yep, so. The ants and other Bugs often bite him, often bite him, but that doesn't stop Dr. Bugs, but that doesn't stop Dr. Now, did this start in the past, present, or future? When did the bug start biting him? Yeah, that's right. It started in the past sometime. Okay. Do you think the bugs still bite him? Yes. And how do you know? That's right. Often. Okay, so we know it's happening in the present. And what do we call that type of word there, often? Yeah, we call it a time marker because it tells us how often something happens. Does it always happen? Does it never happen? Does it sometimes happen? Often. The ants and other bugs often bite him. Okay, do you think the bugs will still bite him in the future. 
We don't know, but probably. Okay, so possibly continue into the future. What do these crosses here mean on this line? Yeah, repeated actions. So these repeated. Something happening over and over again. Okay, and in this sentence, where is the subject? That's right. The ants and other bugs. So we've got subject. Okay, and where's the verb? Bite. That's right. So we've got subject plus verb. Good. Okay, now what does the article say about Dr. Moffat going all over the world? He goes all over the world to study ants. He goes all over the world to study ants. Okay, what about this one? When did he first start going all over the world? Was it in the past? Present or future? Yep, in the past. Does he still travel around the world? He does. How do you know? That's right, goes. Okay, so it's in the present. Do you think he will continue to go all over the world to study ants? Probably. He loves ants. But we don't know for sure. So, we'll just do lines like that. Good. Okay. And in this sentence, what's this here? He. Subject plus, what's this? Verb. Good. Okay. What does it say in the article about Dr. Moffat watching the ants? What does it say about Dr. Moffat watching the ants? Good. He watches them. He watches them as they eat. As they eat, work, rest, sleep, and fight. When did this start? Did it start in the past, present, or future? Yep, in the past, so somewhere around here. 
does he still watch them? Yes, and how do you know? Watches. That's right. Okay, so it continues to the present. Do you think he will continue to watch them in the future? Possibly, maybe. Okay. Now, what's this here? Yep, subject. Plus. we've been looking at today? That's right, verbs uh, in the simple present, or present simple. Okay, verbs in the present simple. Okay, and why? Why do we use the present simple? Yeah, we use the present simple to talk about habits or routines. Schedules and facts. Okay, so we had three sentences today. What were the verbs? Yep, so we had bite. The ants and other bugs often bite him. Okay. Goes. He goes all over the world to study ants. And the last one, he watches. Thanks for watching today. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time. Bye.